Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back, loves. I thank you for tuning in if this is your first time. Here, I just want to show you how I made some homemade pop tarts for the first time. These are all the ingredients I use. And yes, I use all purpose flour. And honestly, you guys, I did this so long ago. I can't even tell you the measurements, but really, <laughs> it's like making a pie crust. That's pretty much what I was and keeping I in mind. Pancakes. That's baby girl saying she makes pancakes while well, I'm trying to do a voiceover right now. <laughs> I had a little nutmeg and cinnamon for flavor and to give a little color. I actually do that to my pie crust when I make my sweet potato pies. Every blue moon, I'll make a pumpkin pie for babe. Because he likes pumpkin pie, yes. But he said he... made an ornament for Micah. And we made ornaments for Micah. That's what she said. Okay. So here, um, I always try to make sure I uh, sift together all of my dry ingredients, okay? It's very important. Whenever you're baking, have all your dry ingredients combined. Just like you should have all your wet ingredients combined as well. Um, at separate times. This recipe really was pretty simple. I did use olive oil here. This is extra virgin olive oil inside the recipe. You can use um, coconut oil. I haven't tried that in my pie crust. Maybe I will one day just to see what it'll do. If it'll give it extra little bit of flavor or whatnot. And you want your um, mixture to come together. Um, come together. To, to come together. Just make sure it's nicely well combined and formed. As you can see there, I add a little bit of cold water. I'll try to list the exact measurements below. Now, I put on my mat, and here's, here is my dough. It's nice and stretchy. I'm gonna be rolling this out. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it tastes really good. I'm gonna get this my first time using it. Um, I just adjusted a little bit, but really, it's just like the base of a pie crust. So, homemade pie press. Make sure you flour your surface. Make sure you flour your surface, okay? Um, I'm going to try to speed this part up for you guys, just so it's not as long. And you just want to roll it out. Just roll it, roll it, roll it. Cut. Keep it thin. I use my same rolling pin. I use for my cookies. Just go into the fridge basically to have it in there nice and cold. Because it's metal, it's very um nice to have it. I like to have it cold. And here I am adjusting ad adjusting the uh, measurements, taking it down a few notches. It does not need to be that thick, okay? Be pop tarts, and they can pretty much be um, double shelled, stuffed with um, the jelly I got from the Southern Bell Farms. I'm using the lowest thickness, okay? So it's pretty thin, but that's what pop tarts are. And it was perfect. Now, I may actually double this recipe up. Because they were so good, but we only had a few Pop Tarts. <laughs> so, this is a great way to use some of that jam, not jelly, like a thick jam. We used the one, like I said, that we got from the farmer's market. Okay? So, it worked perfectly when I put it in the oven to bake. <laughs> 